Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today I have a really special video for you today. I've had a couple requests on how to glaze the puffy heart charms that I make. Um, as you can see, some of the molds that I have have watermarks. So to get rid of that, you have to kind of sand them away and then either glaze them with Duraclear or use resin. So today I'm going to show you um, how to use both, I guess. So let's get started. So really quickly, I just want to show you one of the charms, uh, the puffy heart charms that I made with resin. Now this one is definitely a fail for a couple of reasons. It kind of dripped off in certain spots so that it's a little bit rough around the edges, unfortunately. And it does make it super duper shiny. So to kind of avoid the droops and drips and all that stuff that happens, you can use an unglazed piece like this one and what I like to use is Duraclear sorry this won't fit in the frame but it's a polyurethane gloss varnish it's really thin so if you use a couple coats it'll make it super duper shiny I also just wanted to show you really quickly um, sometimes when you have a mold that isn't shiny on the inside you'll get sort of like a matte um, piece like this. So this one will be a lot easier to dome because it's flat on the edges whereas this one is rounded. So this one I can dome with resin or glaze if I wanted to. But if you have charms that are like this it can be easily fixed so no worries. So let's get on with the tutorial. So you're obviously going to need an unglazed piece like this one. You're also going to need a few paint brushes. Just some old ones are fine. I got these I think at the dollar store or something like that. You're also going to need a silicone mold. You don't absolutely have to have this, um, but you just need some old paper or something um, just in case it does spill over. So what I like to do is kind of prop this up onto the mold, and if it's the same shape that's even better. And you're also going to need one of these little teeny tiny cups. Um, I got these at the dollar store too, just to put the um, glaze in. Okay, so I've got a little bit of glaze in there. I'm going to take my fan brush and the trick with this is not to brush it on you want to dab it and kind of gloop it on there too if you can so I'm just going to dab and this kind of um, sets itself so you don't have to worry too much if it looks uh, raised or anything like that and then I like to lightly go around the edges, just a tiny bit. You can always do the edges later, or just don't do them at all if you don't want to. <laughs> so kind of swirly motions, padding motions, all that good stuff. And now you're done. And it's going to look very cloudy at first. It dries clear, of course, hence the name Dura Clear. <laughs> So you're going to let this sit, especially if it's a large amount. I usually let it sit for about a whole day, especially if it's going to be shipped to somebody. I want it to make sure that it's completely dry and that there's no chance of it scratching off or sticking to the bubble wrap or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I'll put in little clips of what it looks like when it's all dried and finished. If you guys have any more questions about the puffy heart mold and stuff like that, leave comments, leave a like, all that good stuff. I hope you guys have a super awesome magical day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!